Hey, uh, did you post on YouTube yet? No, I haven't yet. Oh, could you go ahead and make that post? And also that one for Facebook, too. Yeah, uh, did you want me to post the same thing on Instagram as well? Uh, yeah, go ahead and just share it. That makes it really easy. Just, just use the same post for everything. Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I want to talk to you about social media platforms, the different social media platforms, what they do, and how to use them properly within your business. <laughs> So social media and content, it's something that you know you need for your business. You know it's something that you should be doing. You probably aren't using it to its potential with kind of generating new business, new leads, and helping you grow overall. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about the, the different social media platforms, how to use them, and how to optimize them for increasing your sales and increasing your leads for your business. The first one that that there is that I think is honestly one of the bigger ones is YouTube. YouTube is only video and generally what performs well on YouTube are longer form videos. What makes YouTube unique is that it is actually the number two search engine in the world. So the headlines and the things that you use for your video for people to type in and search, it's actually really, really powerful within Google and search results. So I like doing kind of longer form educational content or longer form kind of vlog behind the scenes type stuff within those YouTube channels because it's what people are searching for to find that content. People go to YouTube to expect a longer form video. So this is where you can have those five, 10, even 15 minute videos to really explain and elaborate on a particular subject. The next platform or the channel is Facebook. Facebook, I think everybody has and they use it personally, but for a business perspective, kind of Facebook's a different one. Facebook, you can do the longer form videos, you can do short form videos, you can do pictures, you can do text, you can uh, write blog posts from your website. So it's something that you can kind of generally use. And what I like to think about Facebook is the demographic that's on it. Most people that are on Facebook are, are 35, 30 maybe plus. And so you're getting to a little older audience and generally they're on there trying to connect and see the pictures and photos of their kids. So start thinking about emotionally what those people are on Facebook for. They wanna make sure that they're connecting with other brands and families and seeing what's, what's happening, events in the community and stuff like that. So that's how we can use Facebook to our advantage if you know what your target audience is doing on Facebook. The next platform that everyone probably knows is Instagram. Instagram is more photo centric. If your business is much more visually captivating, photography, videography, generally Instagram does really, really well for you. And it's because that's kind of what your new portfolio is. You used to have to have a website with your portfolio on it. And now people just go to your Instagram to see what your portfolio is. It's not necessarily great for people that are educators. It doesn't necessarily work well for businesses that don't have that visual aspect to it unless you're entertaining. So if you can grab some attention on Instagram to keep people entertained, you're gonna do well, but generally it's not gonna be the best to drive business unless you're somebody that has a visual business. The next one that I like to use is LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn's an up and comer and it is more for people that wanna make business and networking connections. So think about if you're business to business, if you're trying to network with other business owners, you can post a ton of educational content on there, you can post a lot of business content, and that's what people expect to get on LinkedIn. If that's your target client, people that are other business owners, or business people that are wanting to hear about business stuff, that's a great place to go and use that platform. The next platform I wanna talk about is Twitter. Personally, I think Twitter's dying. It's not used as much. It's only text. I think you're limited to 160 characters. I'm actually not on Twitter because I don't have the time to be on it when I'm using my other platforms. And we'll talk about this in a second. So Twitter, it's basically if you wanna do kind of a behind the scenes, an update of your life, but it's only text. If that's something that you think that you could do frequently because you need to be very frequent and active on Twitter, then great, that's where you should be. And the last thing I wanna talk about is your actual website. And this is by blogging or, or some other blogging website. Generally WordPress is like the one that people know, but it's written text, an article that's written about a particular subject and this can be entertaining it can be educational it can be um, outlining a story but it's just written format if you're someone that is a much better writer than you are being on camera having some sort of blog may be the best bet for you all right so that's all of the platforms that are out there and the next thing that you need to do is, is consider 
why you shouldn't be posting the same content on every single platform. And the reason is if you're building an audience, the audience that follows you on Instagram is different than the audience on YouTube, which is different than what's on Instagram. If you've got all these platforms and you're posting the same thing across all of them, you're really just annoying your audience. They're getting super annoyed because they're seeing the same thing at the same time every single day. And so that doesn't encourage them to follow you on these other platforms. You wanna make sure that each platform has its specific post or a specific strategy to it. That way, each platform that you post is unique. And so you might have some people that follow you on Instagram and they don't follow you on YouTube because they don't wanna see your longer form videos. Maybe on Facebook, you post a very specific type of post and then on Instagram, it's completely different. We do this at our law firm. On Facebook, we do a lot more educational stuff and on Instagram, we do a lot more fun stuff. It's where, where you can see the lawyers just be themselves and be be human when you're when you're creating your content don't just repost everything on all the platforms especially at the same time you can repurpose content but think about three or four weeks later don't just click that that easy button don't just share it from instagram right to facebook create it for instagram go back four weeks find something that you used on instagram and then share that on facebook on the same day now you're putting out multiple pieces of information on the same day that's going to attract a little more attention and it's going to it's going to keep people interested to see what you have to say on instagram and what you have to say on facebook rather than just ignoring it because you already posted that across all of your platforms so my number one suggestion to people when they're getting started is to focus on one platform Figure out what platform your target audience likes to consume their information and what you're really good at. If you're a great writer, then don't try and be on video. Get better at video before you actually get on there. Write a ton of blog posts. If you're awesome on video and hate writing, like this guy, I do a bunch of videos because it's easy for me to sit in front of the camera, edit the videos, and then be able to put that content out. Get really good at one platform. Don't focus on seven different things. Get hyper specific on one, that way you can build an audience and then slowly start building an audience somewhere else. And now you can focus all of your information, creating the same type of content every single time that your audience knows what to expect from you. Guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about social media and what you can do with it, just ask. That's what I'm here for. We'll see you guys next time. I'm back because you need to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and comment if you got anything to say, and I will see you guys next time.